Hi everyone, this is example one on orifices, tubes, and weirs under steady flow. So here is the first problem. The figure shown represents two large tanks with an orifice in the dividing portion. The orifice has a diameter of 50 millimeters and is rounded so that coefficient of contraction is 1.0 and coefficient of velocity is 0.97. Pressures P, A, P sub A and P sub B are atmospheric. The liquid is oil with specific gravity 0.84 with H 4.9 meters. So determine the theoretical velocity in the jet, the actual velocity, and the discharge. So here is the given figure. So take note that the theoretical velocity is simply square root of 2G times big H, where big H is upstream head minus downstream head. If you look at the figure, the upstream head consists of pressure head at A plus H. But because pressure at A is atmospheric, then it is zero, so it is just H. Pressure at B is also atmospheric, and there's no uh, depth of flow in in the orifice. So therefore, uh, downstream head is just zero. So H is pressure head at A plus H small h minus pressure head at B. P A and P sub B are both zero, so it is just h which is equal to 4.9 so substitute into the formula theoretical velocity is square root of 2 times 9.81 times 4.9 so the theoretical theoretical velocity is 9.805 meters per second the actual velocity is coefficient of velocity times theoretical velocity or c sub v square root of 2 gh so substituting 0.97 square root of 2 times 9.81 times 4.9 so the actual velocity is 9.511 meters per second. Then the discharge is Q equals Kaotog, where C, coefficient of discharge, is the product of coefficient of contraction and coefficient of velocity. So 1.0.97 pi 0.025 squared, the radius of the orifice is 25 mm or 0.025 meter, then square root of 2 times 9.81 times 4.9. In cubic meters per second, the discharge is 0 0.01867 cubic meters per second. So that's it for this problem.